Kevin Hogan. Well, you well, did. You did. did and Nobody that's... talked about Cardell Jones, who yeah. everybody thought could go as a first rounder last mm-hmm. year if he yeah. came out early. Yeah. You know, and, and Brandon Allen out of Arkansas, pretty good quarterback. Nobody talked about all that could go in the sixth or seventh round. Of all the guys, the quarterbacks out there who are listed as guys that could get drafted, the guy that I worry the most about right now is Connor Cook from Michigan State, and I'll tell you why. There have been some issues off the field, some questions about Cook. Uh, Some, you know, he wasn't a captain on the team. He disrespected Archie Griffin uh, before the Big Ten championship game last year. Off the field guys are taking a hit right now because Johnny Manziel has killed it. He is Johnny killed it for guys that have any issues off the field right now. Hasn't helped them out at all. No, if you have if you have the slightest, if you've got a ticket jaywalking yep. off the football field, they, they're running up red flags yep, and Johnny running the other way. Is and, and you know as much as I it, it, I always thought that this would be the Jameis Winston rule, but it's not. Jameis Winston got to the NFL. Cam Newton both got to the NFL and have kept their head below the radar and, and learned the position. Cam Newton now thought of as one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Jameis Winston showed promise last year, but off the field didn't hear a peep out of him after you know Cam Newton wrecked his truck a couple of years ago. It was the last thing you heard about any off right. the field thing, even with him. And that's how bad it had gotten. He was an accident he didn't cause. He wasn't at fault at, and people still reported it because it was Cam Newton off the field. Sure. Well, Johnny Manziel has taken that to a whole new stratosphere. He's he's so far above anybody else. Now, it's almost like Ryan Leaf was normal. Well, he's setting all the party <laughs> records. That is for that is for absolute sure, how Johnny long, Manziel. How they, long do you think it is for this kid to realize he's got a problem? and and Because he's either going to end up incarcerated – Schmitty. Or in a coffin if he doesn't do something soon. Schmitty, impossible to answer that question because you have, we've seen guys like this. Situations like this sometimes can go on for years. Other guys can, you know, somehow figure it out, get it together, and heck, maybe he'll play in Canada in a couple of years. You never know. It just it, it's hard to tell. I can tell you this much right now, he'll never play in the NFL again. No. You can mark he, I, it down right now. He will never take a snap in the NFL look, ever again. When when the one of the most disliked by ownership and management agents, Drew Rosenhaus, drops you, you wow. hit you hit you you you're 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 not now you're not viable as a client in the NFL. Maybe he ends up in Canada, I don't know, but I, he set the standard now way beyond what Jamarcus Russell and, and Ryan Leaf had said it before. And these were two guys that were incarcerated for drug abuse. And how how's, how bad is that, that Johnny Manziel and his out-of-control partying to us is much worse beating it. Now he's maybe indicted for hitting his girlfriend so hard she, can't, she couldn't hear for a while, that we think well. that that – as a whole, because so many things. Jamarcus Russell was the purple drink, the cough syrup. Yeah, yeah. Ryan Leaf had a, a an addiction to opioids. So it tells me that that Manziel has issues for days. For and it's, days, a lot of that is there's some sadness to that, of course. Uh, but you know, the bottom line is you just got to get it figured out, or else he won't even play. What, what's uh, what's the football league where the the kiss? Gene Simmons has a has a team out in the arena LA. league. The arena league. Yeah. What, what's the name of that team? Anybody know? Kiss has a has the a LA team. Express or something. Like yeah, I think it may be the LA Kiss. He won't even play for them. Yeah, maybe, he, if he didn't get yeah, the game. Orlando Predators, <laughs> so, right? The, the Tampa Tampa Bay. He couldn't play for any of those teams. Ew. You know. So, and could you imagine him in the arena league though? As fast as he is, boy, that'd be fun to watch, wouldn't it? But I just couldn't see him making thirty five thousand a year. No, well. <laughs> Maybe, hey, you know, actually, making that kind of money may be the best thing for him because he wouldn't have access to party like he does I think he's spending a heck of a lot more than that on partying right now. Yeah. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up Buddy Sports Page. Tom James and myself bringing you home right here on 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, WOCA. The Source.
Essential oils work as natural distressors with seemingly endless benefits to health and wellness. Dare to Believe partners with Deuterra Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade Essential Oils to help you feel regenerated with many of the services offered, including Aroma Touch. To set up your consultation today with wellness advocate Valerie Hazelden, call 352-425-5588. That is 352-425-5588. Dare to Believe, it's essential. Your quality of life is meant to be fully enjoyed each day. The doctors at Ayers Global understand that and strive to provide a quality of life for you that has no equal. Ayers Therapeutic Services combines naturopathic and family medicine to help all your health needs. Diabetic management, hypertension, pain management, and anti-aging are just a few of the services offered by the Ayers family. Call 352-512-0222 today and Ayers Therapeutic Services will help you begin to understand that better health begins with you. Do you experience body aches, joint, or a muscle pain all over your body? Does it keep you up at night, interfere with your day, and leave you feeling tired and in pain? You could be suffering from fibromyalgia. Renstar Medical Research in Ocala is conducting a research study of investigational medication for individuals between the ages of 18 and 75 who have had widespread body pain or tenderness for at least three months. Qualified participants will receive study-related medical care and investigational medication at no cost. Compensation for time and travel will be provided, and insurance is not necessary to participate. If you experience body aches or suffer from fibromyalgia and would like to find out more information about this fibromyalgia study, please call Renstar Medical Research in Ocala at 352-629-5800. That's Renstar Medical Research, 352-629-5800. Renstar Medical Research, seeking tomorrow's answers to the health questions of today. 1370 WOCA. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, Yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we we do that, too. I need my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too. Well, as a matter of fact, join me, Matt Gibbs, from Sunrise Automotive every Tuesday at 10 for auto repair with personal care right here on The Source. Good credits, bad credits, it's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer up charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Now, here's another bonus of having older children are more likely to engage in active play, basically built-in playmate. So-called frontier living is back in style, and subscriptions to the association's magazine called Tomahawk and Long Rifle have been increasing every quarter. What millennials like about geezers is their geezery authenticity. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Welcome back to Buddy Sports Page on a Tuesday afternoon. Tom Schmitz, Tom James with you along with Luke Sylvia. Luke, I'm going to have to defer to you now because it's time to talk. Uh, the NBA season has started, uh, what is it now, four days old, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So In The second season. No, 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 no. The first was the preseason. Now we're at the NBA season. The they have the NBA NBA is the only league that has an 82-game preseason. <laughs> Cause, Fair enough. Because they give over half the league 
playoff. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's a preseason. So now we're in the NBA season. And it's gotten interesting pretty quick. Uh, because of an injury. Oh, yeah. Not because of the games. The games hadn't been that interesting. There's been a you know a couple teams that should win giving games away. But Steph Curry in the headlines, Luke, for his ankle problems. Without Steph Curry, they may win their opening round uh, uh, in the playoffs. But they're not winning the NBA. They're not winning the Western Conference Finals without Steph Curry. Absolutely not. Because you look at the opposite side of that bracket, and they've got OKC, Gold, they've got OKC or and San Antonio. San Antonio. Tell us about, about real quickly, the, the deal with Steph. Right. So in game one, he uh, – he suffered an injury that's far too familiar for Steph Curry in his career. He has an ankle injury. That he did also, however, get an MRI. Uh, ESPN or the NBA revealed that the MRI on his right ankle is, is uh, nothing of concern. Yet he still remains questionable for Game Three. And mm. one thing is that uh, a stat that I'm reading is on the on the season, Golden State is plus five twenty three in Curry's minutes and minus one oh four when he sits. Mm-hmm. Well, hmm. he, he better keep sitting right now and get that thing a hundred percent. Yeah, right. they can be if they can just roll through the first round without him, then they should do it. Clay Thomas and Draymond Green in that group, I think they can get through the first round without Steph Curry, and don't don't even risk it. Just sit him and let him watch and get him ready for the second round. I mean, anytime you hear those three letters M R I, you know, red flags go up. It's a scary thing, but. It could just be precautionary, and what are we looking at? Maybe a, a sprain. L- let me ask what you. What they hope, right? Let me ask you this. Do you think they'd be honest and come out and say, oh, yes, tore up, he's never going to play the rest of the playoffs? Absolutely not. They're, <laughs> they're never going to say they're that. They're never going to say that. And I, it, it's – they can get through the first round. You know, right now they're they're doing fine. They're playing the Rockets. Yeah, that's a very that's, no, no. It's not the Rockets. I told you, it's the Crybabies. Right, it's the Crybabies. Very dysfunctional. We we name them after the nickname <laughs> of this this the big guy down low, the Crybabies. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I, it'll be interesting because actually the playoffs have gotten real interesting with Oklahoma City dropping that game to the Mavericks last night yeah. after their final shot that the buzzer was waved off from Stephen Adams. Right. You know it. But but the thing with Curry, here's what happens when you start anointing teams. You always forget about injuries that those can happen. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, the the West is obviously more loaded than the East. Is Cleveland good enough? Can Cleveland get their act together and win mentally as a team? No. Can they get along, get their act together, all get on the same page and and win it all finally for Cleveland? Can LeBron do it this year? No, the Western Absolutely Conference not. Final champion is the is the NBA champion. Let me ask you this real quick, Tom James. And this year of the NBA with everything, with the record they set seventy three and nine. If they don't win the championship, do you really care they went seventy three and nine? I mean, it is what it is. Uh, it, it's the best regular season ever. Period. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it, you, you have to cap it off to be the best season overall ever. You have to win it all. If they win it all, they could be in the argument with the best team ever. Yes, they could. If they don't win it all, they're not in the argument as the best team ever. Absolutely, and you've got some good games tonight. We've got uh, about 20 seconds left in today's show, but the Celtics visit the Hawks once again. Uh, the Hawks have a 1-0 lead in that series. Tip-off is 7 o'clock. Also, you have the Grizzlies and the Spurs. They're really, it's not very appealing because the Grizzlies are without uh, Marc Gasol and Mike Conley, and the Spurs just rolled them in Game 1. I believe they'll do it again tonight. I want to thank our guest, Rondo Fernandez, joined us in hour number one. DJ Boyer of DraftSite.com joined us. Uh, Iris Schofield of Warchant.com joined us. For Tom James, Buddy Martin, and for Luke Sylvia, who produced the show, I'm Tom Schmidt saying have a good night, everybody. <laughs>